What's going on, y'all? So let's What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of the haves and the have-nots. Um, we got two more episodes, okay? Next week is the episode before the season finale. Listen, this was a filler episode. I'm just going to put it out there. It was a filler episode, and a certain part of it really did annoy me. This episode 7, or season 7, episode six, 18, The Sixth Sense. A Sixth Sense, okay? Um, hmm. So, Benny. Benny, well, we left off last week. We had Benny confronting Derek, okay? Well, you know, he went over there to his mom's house and, you know, he was like, Mama, Mama, Veronica told me who it was that, um, you know, raped you or whatever. You know, um, Derek did that to you and all that stuff. And where is he? And woo, woo, woo. Okay, so, you know, Hannah is not trying to get involved in all this shit, okay? Hannah, Ben... <sighs> Benny is annoying me a little bit. Like, I understand where he's coming from. He is trying to protect his mother's honor. You know, anybody would be upset if somebody found out, if they found out that somebody close to them, like a mother, a sister, a aunt, uh, somebody that's really close, a cousin that's really close to my friend, you know, was put in a predicament that Hannah was put into, you know, forced to do something against her will, <laughs> regardless of the circumstances, you know? And so, you will want revenge. You will want to protect them. And I totally get it. I totally get it. But at this point, your mother said, leave it alone. Nine out of ten, she just don't want no trouble right now because she is still trying to figure out how to deal with it and how to come to terms with it herself. Because what I'm guaranteeing is going on inside Hannah is that I did not expect the person that I was starting to have feelings for to be the man that took my innocence when I was younger, okay, and impregnated me, you know, and left me and did all of that stuff to me, some stranger, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the fact that I probably tried to tuck that away and now my reality is hitting me in my face that I never truly dealt with. Now I'm being forced to deal with it and to, uh, you know, Figure out how to put the pieces back in place and how does this to to ties into my life or whatever. Girl, Benny don't think about stuff like that. You know, Benny run high off emotions. You know what I'm saying? You know, he see Derek. He told Derek to get up out the car. Now, let me tell you something. I would have been cool with it. I would have been cool with this part. You know what I'm saying? Knock him out a little bit. Rough him up or whatever. I mean, it ain't going to get you nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly that's exactly what Benny did. You know what I'm saying? Benny is pissed off. That's his mama. So, he want to protect her. You know, you did that to my mama. Did you rape my mama? Look, man, it was a long... Did you? I mean, yeah, shit happened. But I can make it up to her. I'm trying to make it up to her. Bitch, Benny said this one of the smartest things, probably the second smartest things that he probably said on this show. He said, how the hell are you going to make up a rape to her? I said, you know what, Benny? Yes. Yes, because I looked up at Derek like, sir... <laughs> You can't take that back, all right, regardless of if you say I'm sorry, okay, if you do this, you say you would change men and all this stuff, the fact of the matter is your deed is still done and every day she has to deal with it because, you know, she has a daughter from it, you know, she has to relive the trauma in her mind that probably playing, they've been playing back all these years. Sir, you can't make that up. I don't care what nobody said. You can't make that up. All right. So, of course, Benny, you know, told him to get the hell up out of here after he beat him up a little bit, you know, punched him around and um told him, you got to get the hell out. You know, he was like, but I work here. I work here. He was like, no, you don't. I said, oh, Benny. So you up here being forceful like that? You telling people that they can't work where they can't work at? Okay. Um. Don't tell me where not to work at. But, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because bills got to be paid. But don't do that. <laughs> I was like, Benny, how he going um, to live? Benny said, that ain't my motherfucking problem. That ain't my problem. Okay? I said, all right. All right. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> 
a little bit, you know? And so Derek, he gets up and leaves. At this point, I was like, there's nothing else that you can do, Derek. Just go ahead and oblige it because this is your scarlet letter. This is your, you know, thing that you have to live with. So Benny go knocking on the door, bamming on the door, and um, he going to lie to, uh, I was like, why would you tell this lady that? Talking about something, he didn't kill Tim, and he, he put him in the back of the truck. Why would you do that? I, she was like, come on, man. Mama, I'm just playing. Okay. And at this point, you know, he trying to, why you ain't tell me that he was the one that raped you? You know, Veronica had to tell me this and all this stuff or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Um, so you want to do this? She said, leave it alone, Benjamin. Leave it alone, Benjamin. And then she was like, listen, you want me to deal? You want to deal with this? We'll give the money back. You get the cry as they money back and then we'll talk. Man, mama, why, 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 why you gotta bring that up? Why you gotta bring that up? Girl, Hannah was over, okay? Hannah said, Benny, get the fuck up out of here. Girl, I'm just waiting for her to say, get the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because she is tired of her kids. They are getting on her nerves and her feet hurt. She just want to rest. And then she got to deal with the fact that um, Catherine gave her all of this power, okay? Gave her all this control over her whole entire estate. And she don't know a damn thing about it. Baby... Hannah looked like, as far as I got, was Algebra 1, okay? You know, I did a little geometry here and there. I ain't really understand the shit, you know, and don't talk about no calculus. I don't know nothing about that shit. And you want me to do what? Okay, bitch, I ain't studied this shit up in school. <laughs> This is economics, okay? I wasn't paying no attention up in economics class. That's how Catherine was. I mean, uh, Hannah looked. Hannah, or or she was like, listen, do you know how long ago this been since I had an economics class? Okay, and that was in high school, and it was only for half a semester, bitch. I don't know what this is, okay? Girl, but Hannah was doing it right, and I appreciate this, because Hannah don't know what's going on, and she's trying to educate herself. Instead of trying to go into a meeting with these white men that's trying to take over and going in blind. She don't know they trying to use her and to make her escape go and take over and all this stuff or whatever. But she's not trying to go in blind. And I like that um, Tyler wrote that in like that. You know, she actually doing the research. She's taking notes. She's going over everything. She don't know something. She's looking it up on Google. She's writing down definitions and stuff like that. That's the story. Start, okay i wish some of y'all you know i wish some of the people that is up in the industry these days especially the music industry would take the interest that hannah did you know what i'm saying when they come to their contracts because all it takes is a quick let me google what this mean and try to get somebody to read this to you and you know try to understand it yourself before you sign some that that you know like like take the initiative to take care of your shit but anyway so, uh, Mr. Accounting dude pull up when Hannah told Benny to get the hell up out of there. You know, she, she was like, somebody coming and you got to get the hell up out of here. Okay. And so at this point, you know, Mr. Accounting dude, I forget what his name was, but, um, Mary Jane Paul. Okay. Her uh, brother off of being Mary Jane, you know, um, he come up there. And she was like, you Hannah? I said, first of all, her name is Hannah. I never heard a black person say Hannah like that. You know, um, Hannah. Okay. And he was like, she was like, yes, Mr. Accounting Man, it's me. It's me. Come on in. Come on in. And she was like, you know, so this is what I need you to do. He was like, this is a nice house. He was like, oh, thank you, but it's not my house. It is the owner's house who left me with all of this stuff or whatever. And that's why I need you here to help me out. Okay, so, you know, we can sit down and we can talk right here, right now. She was like, thank you so much for coming over here and doing this stuff for me. And I was like, oh, okay. Hannah, what you don't understand what's going on right about now, this is a little bit of Christian foreplay for you. Okay. Okay, because, you know, you don't do all the, you know, little nasty stuff or whatever. This is a little Christian foreplay for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he buttering you up. He buttering you up and you just don't realize it, but you're going to realize it. Okay, and this this might be a dude that's thick. I don't know. I don't know. The jury's still out on him because I don't know if he really up front or if he probably going to be trying to um, play her too. You just never know with people on these shows. Okay, especially on the Tyler Perry show. Y'all watching Sister tomorrow? I'm watching it. I ain't reviewing it, but I'll be watching it. Probably be tweeting about it too. Um, don't ask me about the Billboard Awards. I just realized that that shit came on tomorrow. 
girl, whatever. Okay, I'm watching Sisters. Okay, I will spend my time watching it. Because the way Sisters ended in the first season, baby, I didn't know if I was going to like the show. Because one particular character just got on my nerves. Karen. God damn. But. I did not feel sorry for Andy because Andy, baby girl, you out here fucking a married man and you knew he was married. Okay, so you gay, you, this is what happened. This is what happened. And the way they left her ass in the middle of fucking nowhere and had to walk back in them goddamn hills. Girl, I want to know how she got her ass home. I really do. That man was playing all types of games with her and messed up her money. Took her money and her car. Damn it. Can't trust a nigga for shit. Okay. But anyway, um, Mr. Accounting Man, you know, she was like, so I was looking up all this stuff or whatever. And I'm trying to get to um know what this is. Like, I don't know what this means. You know, it's like a whole bunch of stuff. I got this meeting coming up tonight. So I want to be a little bit prepared, but I just don't understand all of this jargon. And he was like, you know, okay, well, let's start with what, you know, Capital Gains is. Capital Gains, any capital that's, um, you know, made on the game like an asset asset or you know something like that bitch i know a little bit about assets and liability i had to take economics and shit up in college as well girl you know i it's a foreign concept too some somewhat but i know a little bit and i was sitting there like okay you know it's coming back to me a little bit thing okay you know hannah was writing that shit down like she was a student up in class i said i know that's right hannah mr accounting man looking like um, excuse me. She was like, oh, okay. I forgot. You know, I was supposed to get, I hold up my end of the bargain. I was supposed to get you some coffee. The coffee was already right there, you know. And basically, they have a little conversation. And he said, she was like, girl, I don't even know what all this means. Like, I'm just so overwhelmed. What does this mean? She was like, listen, I don't know if it was in a preview or if it was in this. I seen a little clip where he said, so you was the maid and she gave you all of this. Basically, what this mean is... You, this is all yours. You can take all her shit and put it in your account right about now. I said, damn, Hannah ain't that type of person. Because I, whew, whew, girl, I got a little debt that I got to get out. Uh, you know, these little student loans, I be moving a little bit of bird seeds here and there. You know what I'm saying? Little twigs here and there trying to, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> She ain't in she in jail. She ain't gonna miss it. You know what I'm saying? That'd be my reasoning, okay? I mean, she gave me the power of attorney, so you know, <laughs> I can do it, right? <laughs> but anyway, that's what was going on with Hannah and him, okay? Meanwhile, back at the Iron Bone, back over there at the Iron Bone, um, you know, Sandy sitting at the desk. I mean, at the uh bar at the desk. Sandy sitting at the bar, you know, soaking and all that stuff. Vinny over there talking to him, you know, um, and just clowning him and you know, they they going back and forth and you know, basically what it comes down to Vinny asking about what he gonna do with his girl. Okay, you know she fucking somebody else. What you mean she doing somebody else? What what's going on? How you know about that? I was like, come on, you really soft and all this shit. And, you know, he tried to come at Uncle Vinny. He was like, oh, you calling me soft? What about the cry quick kid? You ain't even go kill him. If you ain't as soft as you try to act like, um, now don't you go down there and you shoot that nigga. Okay. Um, you know, Vinny got pissed off. Okay. And told him to get the hell up out of here. Okay. And I was just sitting here like, all right, cool. Meanwhile, moving on from that. Um, this whole thing with the president. So, Landon. <laughs> Landon comes, we got Oliver in the office, and then Landon come up in there all jovial and everything, and Oliver looking like, uh, what are you all excited about? Oh, I can't be happy, you know? And so, he gets on the phone, and he's talking to Maria, I think it's Maria, the reporter lady, okay? Trying to get this news interview, um, TV interview, whatever, um, with the president and Candace and, you know, whatever else that she had did for him earlier is working and Oliver is getting very much pissed. Okay. Because he just don't understand it. So once he gets off the phone, he was like, why do you keep on pushing this, um, whole thing about this girl? Okay. He is not, the president is not in love with her. You know, she is a whore. All right. She ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? He can do better. He needs to be with Gretchen. Okay. 
And um, Landon was like, what? Why you keep on pushing Gretchen? Somebody that's a little uh, silver spoon ass bitch just like you. Somebody with money. That ain't what he want. Okay. So, you know, let it the fuck go. You know? And so at this point, he was going off about it. And the door opens and it's the president. Charles is back there listening. He was like, what else you got to say? Oh, Mr. Big and his talk, Oliver, all of a sudden becomes a little bitch. Okay. Um, sir, I was, I, 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 I was just saying that I'm, I think you can do better. That's all. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can do better. He was like, you right. I can do better, but that's the bitch that I want. And if you got a problem with it, and if I hear you talking the way that you talking any other time, bitch, you're going to get fired. I said, so let me tell you something, Mr. President, you should have fired him right then and there. Okay. Probably would have caused problems, but you still should have fired him right then and there because I am tired of Oliver. It's one thing to have Landon on this show and be the little that he is. And it's another one to have Landon. Landon is such an irritant. Okay. Such an irritant. Um, you know, so after that, you know, of course, Oliver gets up in his feelings and he think that Landon had something to do with the fact that the president was standing behind the door and that he knew that he was there. But um, Landon didn't have nothing to do with that. OK, uh, he just feel a little salty because he got cussed out by the president elect, you know. Um, meanwhile, you know, Landon, uh, the president elect had a little conversation, you know, and he was like, thank you for standing up for me and saying that I deserve to be happy and stuff like that. And woo, 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 woo. I'm about to go take the kids out for a while. Ooh, let's make it a um, photo opportunity. No. Yes. They're so cute. You need that. No. I was like, y'all need to stop. <laughs> At this point, I said, y'all need to stop. Okay. You know, later on. Landon meets with this, well, this guy comes over to the house. He looked like a Secret Service agent or whatever. Um, he had his little earpiece in, and they seemed like they'd been cool. He was getting some information on Oliver, okay? Remember when Oliver got into the car with that guy who was giving him the cocaine, and um, he was talking about who he uh, had him looking at a couple of access, a assets, you know what I'm saying? And he said that, you know, uh, Jim Cryer had him working too, you know? Um, so he looking at pictures of them two together and kind of find out it's in a private airport, you know, and he flew him in, I think from Mexico or wherever. And, um, he was like, so who is he? He used to be, he's like a mercenary. He used to be like in the army or the Marines or something like that. You know, one of those, uh, fashions of the military and, uh, or I should say the armed services. And, um, you know, uh, Jim Cryer hired him and was like, what he hired him for? To look after this bitch, Veronica Heritage, okay? <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't see that coming. I was like, that's who it was. That's why Jim hired him. Okay, that does make sense. Meanwhile, you know, they're trying to figure out the connection between Oliver and him. It was like, Oliver got a cocaine problem. Okay, and he had it since college, and the daddy been trying to hide it or whatever, and they still trying to figure out what more connection is it, and why are they meeting, and why is he being flown on the father's private jet and everything, and for right now, they just going to put a, a lid on it, and Landon just going to use this to his advantage. He going to cook him slow. I was like, all right, Landon. Okay. Meanwhile, um, we get to Veronica. Um... Samuel is outside, you know, the front house, and we see the car pull up. I said, oh, I forget that she sent old girl out. Laura, I think her name is Laura, sent her out and, you know, got her all did up, you know, new hair and everything, okay, new digs or whatever, in the nice car or whatever. Samuel looking like, oh, you cute or whatever. And she was like, this is a really nice house. Do you think we would have a house like this? And it was like, bigger and better, baby. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. I'm, I actually kind of like Mrs. Harrington. I know she like me. And Samuel was like, R -r -r pause that, baby girl. Because remember what Derek said. She ain't the one to be trusted. But she like me. Okay, and, and you know, and at this moment, uh, here come Veronica coming outside. And, you know, coming to get her. And I don't know if she's taking a liking to her, but we already know that she's playing her. And I don't, well, I'm going to answer my own question because on the preview for next week's episode or the next couple of episodes that's coming up, you know, Veronica was on the phone talking about some, um, uh, them two are up to something, but I don't know what it is. So keep an eye on them. So I think she knows about Samuel and old girl. Okay. 
And so, and I think they going to fuck each other. <laughs> Veronica, girl. Veronica. You got your nerves to call David a whore. <laughs> you got your nerves to. Let me tell you something. It wasn't. She, it, 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 David would have had feelings for a black woman. Veronica probably would not have gotten this far in her vindictiveness. She, cause she kept on letting us know, you know, that the reason why she was pissed off, she was like, you're a white whore, you're a white whore, you know, it's because Maggie Dave was white. You know what I'm saying? She has an issue with that. I was like, I mean, yeah, yeah, but you can't help but who you like, you know what I'm saying? And I was just sitting here like, girl, Veronica, we saw that whole montage of all the stuff that happened between her relationship from when they got married to that the way that they ended up right now. I said, damn it, bitch, I forgot that she burnt that house down with David in that bed. That was the first. I said, David, you better than me because I would have killed that bitch right then and there. <laughs> I would have took, give me the charge, judge. She tried to kill me and I killed her. Okay? That's what would have happened. You know, throw away the key if you got to, but bitch, at least I can sleep good at night. Because, you know, I ain't going to look over my back from her. You know, fuck them inmates. This bitch is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's what was going on. Then we get this whole thing with Kobe and Madison and Jeffrey going out to lunch or whatever. They're talking. We come to find out that, you know, Madison used to be a go-go dancer when Kobe was in college and stuff like that. Woo, woo, woo. And then all of a sudden, it comes up about the fact that Jeffrey wanted to go over there to Veronica's house and skinny dip to get back at her. I don't know how that was going to get back at her for being homophobic, but okay. You know, and Kobe was so pent on this and, and and just focus on doing this or whatever madison like listen bitch i gotta go to work okay and for the life of me i can't figure out whether or not kobe is really gay i just the over the overly gay speak you know what i'm saying and tone of voice it's just irritating i was like you know not all gays i was like this is a stereotypical i guess it's what y'all think gay men or some what feminine gay men speak like or whatever, and not all of them do. So, I mean, he could have been a little bit more masculine or whatever. They come in masculine, they come in all types, they come in all sizes or whatever, but okay. It was irritating me. It was irritating me because Kobe was doing the absolute most, all right? I'm sitting here trying to understand the logic. You want to go over there and skinny dip in her pool to get back at her? I said, you know, I understand that, you know, Veronica is a bitch. But for some reason, I took offense to Kobe calling her a bitch because he don't know her. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that Jeffrey ain't going to defend it because of all the stuff that Jeffrey did. I mean, she did to Jeffrey. But, you know, it's like, it, it felt like one of those... That's my mama. I can call her a bitch, but you can't <laughs> type of situation. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just sitting here like, so what y'all finna do? Y'all finna go and skinny dip up in the, in the pool and what's gonna happen? I said, Jeffrey, this is the part of Jeffrey that makes me mad. And he has not outgrown it. I've seen. Jeffrey is weak and he's very much pressured by peer pressure. Okay? He's easily swayed to do stuff that he so-called don't want to do. Okay? No, no, we're not gonna do it. I was drunk talking. Next thing you know, he's back at Madison apartment or whoever apartment and they're sitting down Kobe then brought over his friends that he keep on calling bitch ass bitch ass that's not what all gay people say I just want y'all to know that uh it was it was it was overly done it was this 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 part was very heavy-handed and this is the part that irritated me about the show okay the whole you know coming from a gay I gotta do the technical shit but you know um Tyler get you a gay person on scene okay get you a gay person on scene and if you're not gonna use gay actors get you a gay person on scene that can write this a little bit better but then again you write your own stuff so I'm be quiet on that um hit me up if you need some speak I mean some you know pointers or whatever I'm just saying because this was done very heavy-handedly I was just saying it very hand heavy-handedly and stereotypically I was just sitting here like and then they went I was I just whatever I was confused <laughs> Again, what is skinny dipping going to do? I'm thinking like, let's go over there and torch the bitch, okay? Torch the house or some shit like that. No, we're going to skinny dip up in the pool. Okay. So they get to the pool and they get there. Once again, Jeffrey acting like he didn't want to go, but chat you up in the car with him. 
and you didn't drove all the way down there to it. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, all right, you know, you up in the pool. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know, Kobe went on ahead and got undressed. His friends went and got undressed. And, you know, I'm just sitting here like, all of y'all are bottoms. <laughs> I just came to me. I said they had oh, one or two maybe verts, but all y'all but I'm so sorry. No offense to my gay men out there. But Jesus. Anyway, um I don't know why that took me out. All of a sudden, Samuel come out of nowhere. I said, where he come from? And he acting like he don't see nothing. Now see Samuel would have been me. This ain't my house. Technically speaking, I'm just here to be here. Uh, so whatever y'all do, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And of course, Kobe over there flirting with him. And I'm like, quit doing that. You can see the man is clearly straight. He does not want to look at you. Stop that, okay? Um, I mean, you're all of y'all naked as shit. You know, of course, he don't want to look at you because he's a straight man. And I don't think it had anything about him being uncomfortable with his sexuality. He just didn't. Like, come on, I don't know you, bitch. Move, okay? And I ain't trying to get up in trouble. So he said, go up in there and tell Veronica that I'm out here. You know, tell that homophobic bitch that we out here. And so he go up in there like, listen, Veronica, I did what you said, but let me tell you something. It's some naked niggas outside in your um, pool. And so she was like, what? She come outside and Kobe was like, you Veronica bitch? Yes, we are here. We are queer and we ain't going nowhere. Okay. You know, there are gay men up in the house and there's gay men all over the world. Your son is gay. I'm his gay we is gay and we is skinny dipping up in your pool and i'm sitting here again like well, what the fuck does that gonna do okay just like veronica said she don't give a fuck who she don't care about gay people she don't care about gay people especially gay men truth be told veronica was giving me lesbian tease this episode too she looked like she probably would have fucked little laura okay she looked like she could have fucked her too you know what i'm saying but um i could swear and let it come out in by the see the series finale it's gonna come out that veronica used to fuck around with girls in her little boarding school or whatever she did or she let them go down on her you it's gonna come out like that you know she in the closet that's why mm. but um they doing all of that. Veronica go up in the house. She was like, okay. You know, she was like, just think about all the things that we do to each other. I'm sitting here like, <sighs> Veronica go up in the house. She was like, okay, I'll be right back. She go get her gun. She cocked that bitch. She put the bullets in, the magazine in or whatever. And um, that was the end of the episode. I said, Kobe, you, you got a death wish? I said, you didn't think this thing out, okay? Jeffrey over there like, get up out the pool. Get up out the pool. You guys, come on. We got to go. And I'm sitting here like, again, what was this supposed to do? This ain't going to make her change her mind. <laughs> it's not, I don't get it. You know, <laughs> God. whatever. I guess I'm not supposed to overanalyze it. Okay, it's just. It's just, yeah. But anyway, you guys tell me what y'all gonna, um, what y'all, <laughs> you tell me what you felt about this episode. Oh, I'm so glad I'm in better spirits than I was yesterday night because, bitch, I was really mad. <laughs> I was really mad. Oh, okay. I needed that laugh. But anyway, you guys tell me how you feel and I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>